Hey dads, are you having some trouble opening up or unlocking your doors on your Ford vehicles, your older Ford vehicles? Uh, I got what I think I need to be able to fix mine. My neighbor came over the other day and he was showing me how the actuator worked inside my door so that I could get the thing open. And now I got the part in the mail, that's what I wanna show you guys today, um, about what we need to fix this. First of all, hi, hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, have, and well, my neighbor tells me to buy so we can fix this. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So what we have here is, it, it's this thing right here. I ordered this online and it's like the little locking cams. Uh, what are they called? The 8 ends 4 Door Latch Cable Repair Kit. I'll link that up down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. It's got 116 reviews and 4.5 and stars, so it's got to be good. I uh, definitely recommend it. So if you're having trouble with this, this could be the, what you need. Um, so what we have here, it's, it's smaller than I expected. This is the shipping envelope that it came in, and you can see it's only about yay big, which surprises me. So let's open this thing up and see how big these things are or if they even have all of them in there or whatnot. Okay, so we got a little box here. This is the company that, that made it. These are aluminum uh, on here, so uh, I, I would assume that that would be good. I know that that lasts in heat as uh, up to 1200 degrees. Let's see, we'll open this up. Okay, yeah, look, there we go. They come in little Ziploc bags and they're basically little, little cam things. Here, look, we'll take one out so that you can attach, watch, I'll show you where you need to attach it to. Man, these things got hot. So that's it right there. And these attach, watch, let me put that back up, down here. So you have, this is the bottom latch right here. And the, uh, the line, the cable that pulls this is this right here. It slides right into here and then it pulls down on this and that's what uh, works the lock there. So what we have down here is that. That, that thing that I just showed you goes on to the end of there, and it looks like whoever tried to repair this in the past didn't put these things uh, on there. So we're gonna put these things on there, and hopefully that helps that hold on to there, which will hold on to here and keep everything in place. Now we also have to figure out the top door lock as well. This is the top one here. We need to get our tools to get this these uh, bolts off, and then we're gonna pull the wire, which the wire is not this front rod here, but there's a cable behind here. And if you put your hand up through where the speaker goes and you get it back there, you can pull on it and that's what activates that lock right there. And that's how we got that door open. So uh, what we have to do now is get that thing out there, make sure that we have all of the parts that are correct on there these things so that we can make this thing happen. Maybe um, maybe after I get it done, I'll do a review of these guys for you to let y'all know how easy it was or how hard it was and all that type of stuff. But, uh, oh, I wanted to share with you guys that, uh, first of all, if you want to try these out, if that's your problem, use the link down in the description below. I found these, they've got great reviews, uh, 116 reviews, four and a half stars. They seem to be, be what we need. But I wanted to share with you guys in the description, this works not only for just Ford F-250s, it works for a variety of vehicles. So uh, we have the two, 1992 to 2013 Ford F-150, F-250, and F-350. This is a 1999. Uh, then the 1992 to 2013 E-Series Econoline vans, the 150, 250, and 350. Uh, 1997 to 2002 Expedition, Excursion, and Navigator. And the Navigator is the rear door latch and the lift gate. Um, 1992 to 2013, the Ford Ranger Extended Cab. 1997 to 2008, Expedition Rear Hatch. And the 1997-2004 Mazda B Series. And what you get in the package is six standard ends and two cam style ends. Look, I'll put all that right on the screen there for you in case I was talking too fast. Y'all can pause it and take a look at that. So like I said, if you have any of those cars having these issues, uh, definitely check those out down in the description below. They are aluminum made, so they seem to be nice, high quality. I like the polish on them. Um, and they're aluminum, a 6061T6 aluminum, and they're a silver color. So. If you guys need some help with that, hopefully this video will point you in the right direction. I'll let you guys do, I'll do a follow-up review for you guys on how the installation went and whatnot, and hopefully we can get the thing done. Uh, if you guys want more of the dad reviews, I'll put, uh, please click that subscribe button. 
Uh, I'll put some unboxing videos right up there if you guys want to watch some of our other unboxing videos. Thank you guys for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. I'm going to put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watched more of our videos. We very much appreciate it when you guys watch our videos and hopefully you gain some information and we kind of come together as a community of dads to figure things out. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Dad out.